Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're in Yorkshire for the weekend, staying in a converted railway carriage in the village of Emsey, right next to the Emsey Steam Railway. Come have a look around and explore the Yorkshire Dales and the picturesque town of Skipton with us. This is a hot tub. We'll look at that later. We're staying in a railway hut um, in the village of Emsey, just outside of Skipton. And um, yeah, it's really nice in here. It's like, it's super spacious. Um, we saw pictures of it on Airbnb, but it's, it's so much bigger than it actually looked. So we've got like a sitting area here, TV, coffee table. She's left us some snacks, nice. And then we've got a breakfast bar area, two stools, fully equipped kitchen. So it's got toaster, kettle, microwave, cafeteria, and then um, all the glassware is plastic so you can take it in the hot tub so that's good and loads of storage plenty of cupboards they've made use of pretty much all the space even here like in front of the boiler there's even a little dishwasher so we don't have to do dishes it's exciting fridge here and uh, more storage here in this unit and then through here to the shower room And one way that they've um, saved space is to have sliding doors rather than opening doors. So that just means that they just slide away into the wall, nice and easy. So this is the bedroom. It's uh, it's cozy, but it's plenty for for us. Yeah, very soft uh, bed blankets and covers. Wardrobe, double wardrobe. With space in the bottom and another TV actually in the bedroom and a nice view in the morning yeah so we'll wake up and look out to that view We're just taking a walk down into Emsey village this morning. Gonna have a look at the train. We um, we tried to book the train because you can do like breakfast on the train, afternoon tea on the train, different things. Um, but it's really popular, so it was already fully booked like a month ago when we, when we looked at it. But we thought we'd just go along to the train station and see if there's any spaces. And if not, we'll just be train spotters and look at the train. Yep. You can see it right there. Here's the train. It's so cool. So unfortunately the train was fully booked even just to go as a passenger because had some coach parties coming so we didn't get to go on the train but we did have a coffee in the little coffee shop in the station and we're just waiting to see, watch the train come back in and get some good shots here. And this whole station is run by volunteers so um, yeah it's a really nice little trip to do but yeah we can advance if you want to actually get to go on the train and do one of the dining experiences. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Now we've decided to explore a bit of Yorkshire Dale. We've come to Malham Cove. Um, so we just parked in the village in Malham, a place visitor centre, had lunch in a nice little cafe there. And it's only a 20 minute walk up to the cove. So we're going to do that. Really interesting rock formations. Otherwise, you can see people up on the top, so you can climb up to the top. It's super busy here this weekend. Lots of people. It is Easter holiday weekend. So, so we're here at the bottom of the cliffs, and uh, we can see there's some guys rock climbing. It's a long way up. So now I guess we're going to try and climb up to the top and see what's at the top. So we made it to the top of Malham Cove, a long climb up, but um, steps all the way up, so it's not too difficult to climb. It's even children are doing it. So it's this massive like limestone formation, and uh, you can see there's like quite deep cracks in between the limestone, and uh, very deep. Some of them. You don't want to drop something in there. There's something down there. What is down there? There's no way you're getting that. Way. Scary stuff. You don't want to miss your foot thing and put your foot down one of those gaps. come right to the edge of the cliff. There's um, peregrine falcons nesting here. So it's a no drone area. Um, yeah, but this is actually part of the Pennine Way. So a much longer walk. Um, when we were in the cafe at lunch, there was quite a few people that seemed to be doing the longer walk. They were fully geared up and backpacking. But uh, yeah, the views from this point Amazing. We were way down there. Right down there. Just walking along the river back into the village. There's a nice wee wooded bit that we're walking through just now keeps you off the road safe because it's pretty busy though. Yeah. Good. Good. Good.
gets us all packed up and ready to leave. We've enjoyed our short stay in this nice little railway hut. So, but before we head up the road, um, we've got some time, so we're going to go into Skipton and maybe go have a look at Skipton Castle before we head home. We're walking down to get into Skipton Castle. Nice wee path. Following along the wall. It's going to be from the car park, the Bailey car park. Four kinds of to park in the car park, but you can park all day until 6 pm. So you can go into town, which is just there. Yeah. Which is good. Right in the town centre. This is called the Conduit Court and this yew tree was planted in 1659 by Lady Clifford, Lady Anne Clifford. She planted this famous yew tree which was like 1659, that means it's 17, 18, 19, nearly 400 years old. Very old. Hello. I'm in the kitchen. Can I have a bacon roll and coffee please? You're oh, not deer. You're not serving. Deer. Venison. Mm -hmm. Oh, venison burger then. And some meat. Mm hmm. And guess what this room was? Good sewage system, right down into the river. So this big room is the banqueting hall. Got the antlers up there in the end. So we're going into the withdrawing room. Ooh, cannons. So this shows us why we chose this location of the castle because you had a very good view over the surrounding area. Sure Keep an eye out for your enemies approaching. We're going to the Lord's Day Room now. So this is the Lord's bedchamber in here. So he had three rooms for his personal use. This room, the one we were just in, and then the minimum room, which we're about to go to. Looking onto the courtyard with that big yew tree. records were kept in this room. So this part of the castle seems to be still lived in as a private house. This is the room where they would probably sit and the watch was brought from upstairs. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's a funky step. Yeah, be careful. I can see why this room would give you good views. 
quite misty today. You can see right out to the surrounding countryside and the hills. This is where the soldiers would have been able to see out and have their bow and arrow pointed out there. So we're going back out the other way now. Okay, the roof. Ooh. Those look like fun stairs. Mm -hmm. This looks like a fun bit. Wine and beer cellars. And we're all back in the courtyard. Wine and beer cellars? That's a shame. What's this? So, do you think maybe you put like the wine bottle upside down and then just like... On tap. Why not? So in this room they brewed the beer for the soldiers and servants. Because only the gentry on the nobility uh, drank wine and only the lord and his steward had a key for the wine cellar. to the dungeon. Yeah, it feels excited. Hopefully. Dungeons usually are the best bit of castles. Who's that? Oh. <laughs> Fancy me feeling. This is a nice garden area. With views over the town. So we come into a creperie called the Flip Side in Skipton High Street because they do gluten-free crepes. Phil's very excited to have breakfast crepe, bacon and egg, vegan cheese. What else? No gluten-free sausage. And I'm getting the same, but just the non-gluten-free one. Bacon. Mushrooms, cheese, Ooh, very hot. Well, that's us leaving Skipton, heading on the road home. So it's a really nice town, a lot of nice little shops to look at, very traditional. Um, probably would never have thought of coming here for a trip. So just as well that um, our nephew met someone from here and gave us a opportunity to come and visit this area so it's been good and this could be our last road trip with this car we might be selling the car uh, but we've had some good road trips in this car we've done the nc500 um, we've done a couple of road trips down to england so yeah we've had a good run with this car but um, yeah time to move on so we're on the road now we'll be home well about 6 o'clock this evening, so bye for now.